You guys remember how great ESPN was? When you came home from school or waking up in the morning, you checked Sports Center, checked the box scores, get the highlights, hang out with some cool characters like Dan Patrick, Scott Van Pelt, Kenny Mayne, even Rick Riley was kind of cool back then, much, much cooler than now. But a lot of people are cutting cords. A lot of people are eliminating cable, eliminating ESPN. I say no. It's Super Bowl week for God's sakes. If there was any time to check out ESPN, the time is now. So this morning, while I'm getting dressed, while I'm starting my day, eating my Wheaties, eating my vitamins, drinking my cup of coffee, I'm going to check out ESPN. Let's go on this journey together. Let's see what ESPN has to offer. But how hard is it for you or anyone to empathize, simply empathize with a group who is defended, even if it is a what? minority of the group? Sorry, guys. Technical error. That's on me. That's on me, guys. I obviously put it on MSNBC or put it on CNN. I put it on something else. Let me, let me get it back to ESPN. Let's watch some highlights, some Super Bowl talk. Let's go. That is offended. And as to the argument, kind of when is enough or when does it end? Okay, guys, again, my, my apologies. What? This is ESPN? What's this show called? This isn't Sports Center. First take? Okay, we'll give it a shot. I'm sure they're going to talk about some really important stuff. Let's go. Let's get in. It's about the Fighting Irish and the Leprechaun logo. And many Irish Americans are not offended, but many are. And should that also change? You answer The that. answer is, the answer is yes. Oh well, Unequivocally yes. Guys, I, guys, I may be having a stroke. I'm, I may be having a stroke, guys. Welcome to the apocalypse of sports television. ESPN and First Take and Max Kellerman, which, by the way, is incredibly gender-specific. Let's go ahead and change that name up a little bit so I don't get offended. Max Keller people and the people over at First Take decided to really ramp things up this morning with a hot, scorching lava take. Max Keller people went on national television today in a conversation about the Cleveland Indians eliminating their mascot of Chief Wahoo because of racial reasons, because of obvious heavy racial overtones in this caricature. He said that, why stop there? He said, I'm not making this up, guys. This isn't the onion. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish mascot is officially insensitive, offensive, and downright racist Let's get rid of it. He said this on national TV. He has paid multi, multiple millions of dollars. Now, guys, I don't have to tell you how stupid this is, how dumb this is. I don't have to tell you this. I don't have to go over why Max Keller people is wrong in virtually every single way here. But I'm going to. I'm going to have to do it. Because if I don't check these fools... If I don't check these guys, it's just going to be more and more of this. We're just going to eliminate everything. So Max Kellerman's entire argument is based on the fact that some people, not many, definitely not the majority, some people somewhere in between 1% and 5% may be, not are, may be offended by the mythological creature of a leprechaun with a penchant for drinking and some aggressive fisticuffs. They may be offended. So, because they may be offended... We need to go ahead and get rid of this thing because it's a little outrageous, guys. Come on. So the first problem is that he's taking 90 to 95% of people, their opinion, the fact that they say, nah, man, we're good with this. And he's taking that opinion and totally throwing it out, just saying, nope, y'all are wrong. If 95% of people don't think something's offensive, more than likely it's not offensive. So there's no reason to continue down the rabbit hole of if something's offensive or not. Virtually everything, virtually anything and everything can be offensive in one way or the other, can be found offensive to someone, to at least one person. So should everything be eliminated? Should everything be totally wiped out? I mean, it's not even hard. Like just brainstorming, I can think of the Spartans, the Spartan mascot. Not everyone from Greece is a bloodlusting warrior hell-bent on do conquering lands and, and dominating places. So let's go ahead and remove the Spartans mascot and change it to the Athenians. <coughs> the Vikings, guys, are you kidding me? Not every Nordic person is some blonde-haired, pigtailed, horn-blowing, hat with, with tusks sticking out of it, axe-wielding madman. We can't be having the Vikings? Come on. 
the Patriots, guys, do I even have to go through this? I don't know if y'all saw the State of the Union, but the last thing we need is more patriotism. USA chance, no bueno. <coughs> the New Orleans Saints, um, hello? A separation of church and state, guys? Do you think everyone believes in saints? What about the atheists? What about the agnostics? Guys, can we think about someone else besides yourself for one second? <coughs> I mean, it's not hard, guys. It's not hard to find offense in virtually anything, especially nowadays. Especially nowadays where everyone's offended. Everyone's triggered. That's part of this culture. That's part of what we do now is we try and figure out who's triggered, who's offended, and why, and then eliminate it. But that's incredibly dangerous. It's very dangerous to have this blanket cause of if anyone thinks something is offensive, no matter how stupid it may be, no matter how stupid their argument may be, no matter if there's a hundred people right there that said, nope, not offensive, and one person says, that offends the hell out of me. It's got to go. Where do we draw the line? Where do we stop anything? Will we have anything? Is that what they want? Do they want to just feed this hunger for, for anger and, and triggerness or whatever? Do they just want to keep feeding it until we have nothing? No TV shows, no mascots, no statues, no, no heritage, nothing? We're just gray. Everything's gray. The flags are gray. The, the, the colors of buildings are gray. The, the genders are gray. Everything's gray. No one is an ethnicity. No one is a gender. No one has any kind of culture. Every single thing is gray. Everyone just eats rice pudding, and that's it. Rice pudding, and they watch nothing. I've always loved traditional rice pudding. Rice pudding. Aside from the argument part of this, on the ESPN part of this, what are y'all doing? ESPN. Hey guys, memo. CC ESPN. All, comma. Nobody wants to hear this. Scroll. Especially, all caps, especially on Super Bowl week. That's how I type. I type... I type with eight, eight fingers at once, mashing letters, and whatever happens, happens. I can understand, because this is what this guy gets paid for. He gets paid for these hot takes. I can understand. I, I really can. I can understand that this was in, like, April, March, when nothing's happening. There's no football. NBA's kind of getting to the playoffs, but no one really cares about that. Baseball's just kicking up, but again, it's baseball, LOL. I can understand if you're throwing a hot take out like that right there. But this is Super Bowl week. Why are you talking about this during Super Bowl week? These shows are writing themselves. There is content everywhere. Why now, on Wednesday of Super Bowl week, do you decide to unleash this scorching hot take? I think what we're seeing here is that ESPN is just kind of cannibalizing itself. It's just, it doesn't know where to go. It doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know. It doesn't know which way to move. So it just moves in the same circle. The same circle of outrage. The same circle of these like fake social justice warriors where sports are a total non-issue. Again, this is Super Bowl week. You can talk about anything, anything related to Philadelphia, anything related to New England, anything related to the future of these other teams, which team can win the Super Bowl, which teams can't. There, the NFL trade deadline's happening. Like people are making trades. St stuff is going on. And they choose to talk about a baseball logo, which then drives them to the logo of a college football team. How? Where is the structure in that? The best part about this whole thing is that the hot take is supposed to be this polarizing take that starts a, a worldwide debate. Which side are you on? Is this side right? Is this side wrong? No one is debating this. Nobody is out there saying, man, well, it could be racist. And, and you have a point. No one's doing that. Every single person is just saying, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. This is why I canceled ESPN. This is why I don't watch ESPN anymore. This is why I can't stand that show. This, all this is doing is reaffirming what people don't want. ESPN has got to realize, and really all of sports media has to realize, that people do not want to be hammered with this stuff. They do not want to hear over and over and over and over again about some fake, divisive topic that is just created out of nowhere. People want to come home, watch sports, get away from reality. That's the whole point of sports. It's a game that little kids play in the backyard, played by grown men for millions of dollars. That is what sports are. Sports are a child's game played professionally that entertains people. Why does it entertain people? I don't care about who can bring a brown leather ball across a line. I care because it's something to invest in, something to get away from reality. My water bill is not on that field. 
You know, my my mortgage payment isn't broadcast on the scoreboard. All that's on the scoreboard is the numbers, the score. It lets me go away for three hours. It lets me go somewhere else, and it creates memories. And you create it's something to talk about with people. Sports is something that brings people in. If you go over to a, a guy's house, and there's someone you don't know there, and he's wearing the same shirt or a shirt with your favorite team's logo on it, boom! Immediately. You can say, oh, man, you're an Indians fan? Dude, what do you think we're going to do about our pitching next year? You don't say, hey, you racist son of a son of a bitch. That Chief Wahoo thing is pissing me off. Yeah, that's not what sports are. Nobody wants that. Sports fans don't want that. Nobody wants that. And for some reason, ESPN and basically all of mass media wants to just constantly bring up these topics that are meant to do one thing and one thing only, and that's divide people. It's ridiculous. Luckily, though, we don't just have to rely on first take. Luckily, we don't have to sit here and just listen to ESPN with Stephen A. Smith and Max Keller people. We don't need that. We have Sports Center, the foundation of ESPN, the life bread, the mothership. SC6, baby, coming home from work. First thing I see, SC6. Let's go. Let's check it out. Sports Center, the bread and butter. Let's go. Hey. Hey. I'm Jamel. I'm Mike. But you have to call me Dragon. You have to call me Nighthawk. Okay. All right. I'm out of here. I'm going, guys. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs>